Good afternoon people, here we are again, um, Paul T's, uh, Paul T, uh, Paul and Michelle's yeah. beer and food reviews, <laughs> I must be corrected there. Ooh. Right, um, another British brewery, this one from Nottingham, Neon Raptor Brewing Company, this is Fort Lauderdale, it's a Mandarin Orange Sour IPA and it comes in at 5.7% ABV, I don't know if there's anything on the can to read. I love Fort Lauderdale, the place, so... Fort Lauderdale is a sour and juicy mandarin IPA with plenty of zesty and citrusy hops. It's like chewing on a bag of oranges in Florida in the summertime with an alligator. Okay, I don't know what to expect from this now. <laughs> yeah, we didn't meet an alligator when we were there, did no, we? No, we didn't. We were only there shortly, for a short while. Yeah. It's a few beers and it was hot every day. It was. Crowded on the beach and no one even... Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, no one even gave us a funny look. Right, anyway, let's pour it. Right, a different type of sale, this one. Lively, though. Mmm, yeah, it's good carbonation there, it's giving off a nice head. Oh, look at the bottom of yeah. it. Oh, the sediment. <laughs> there was so I, much sediment come out of that. That was, that was different. <laughs> um, oh, look, the thickness. You can see them, right? Yeah, show them when I take that up to the camera, I think they're going to be able to catch that on there. So this is the can, I'm you sure see that's you. nice and bright graphics on there with your alligator. Oh, I didn't notice him. Uh, yeah, he's on there, he's got his camera with sunglasses oh, on. Oh, <laughs> King Kanye, if you look at the back of the glass. Mm -hmm. And look at the colour of that, how amazing is that colour? I don't know if you can see all those juicy bits in there as well, that is really looking good. Okay. And again, I'll just take a quick shot. We never manage to get one afterwards, do we? <laughs> no. It does look a bit silly with a half drink glass, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get that out like that. Right. That little bit's done. So, okay. look, here we go. Oh, look, even yeah. the head has even got orange. I can't lift that up to the camera to show because no, it's going to spill. It's actually got orange in the middle. You can see it, head. yeah. No, wow, that's mad, isn't it? No, the more you look, look at the difference of this. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, lovely orangey, zesty aroma there. With some hoppy IPO notes as well. So yeah, that's a... Yep, I can feel that. Yep, I think it's definitely IPA-ish as well. So... There you go. Here we go for the kill, eh? Good. That's really well balanced. You're getting a really lovely yeah. zesty orange taste, but you are still getting your IPA notes in there as well. And the combination of both is really good. Yeah, that's all right. Well, let's have a go. Mm. See how it works well together, the hoppiness of the yeah. IPA balanced off of the zestiness of the orange, it really is very good. And it's not too, you've got your, your mandarin all the way through. Mm. It's got a hint of sour, but it's not too sour. No. Whereas your IPA is more in the mix. Yeah, definitely. Than some prior to, uh, whether you, uh, it's even more orange on top now. <laughs> it's quite mad, but yeah, that's, um, and again, what did I say, 5.7. So it's a halfway decent drink, yeah. though, isn't it? Not too weak, not too strong. All the way. There's no, but yeah, there is more of a hint of IPA. Yeah. But not a bad hint, like your. No. Like your club hint at the end. That's, yeah, it's balancing off really nice. Yeah, like your it's zesty fruit. fruit. Yeah. Your tiny rebel kind of. Mm. But on your mouth, feel going down. It's, it's more fruity. Yeah, it's refreshing it's very and fruity. Refreshing. It's the carbonation is yeah. quite light, um, but there is still good carbonation in there. 
and the bits are just mad. Yeah. It's a bit hard to see now, it's all settled, isn't it? Probably mad at the bottom. It's still sharp, mate, at the bottom. See, it looks quite thick and hazy, but the actual texture of it is really refreshing. It's not too thick. No, so when my milk was pouring out, I thought, God, this looks a bit weak. And then the bottom of it just it's went. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It's like, yeah, quite mad. Again, another UK brewery, as I said, which we're always trying to pick up beers from UK breweries, obviously, whenever we can. Yes, yeah, support them wherever we can. Yeah. And love something different. And this, we, we've done one of these before, but I think the video went wrong. Oh, and it was in three possibly. parts. <laughs> and I lost the main part of the video. I think I'm still good at something. I'm very. I'm sure it was then. Mm. Yeah, remember? Mm. And the paper moon whipped here. Yeah. And now I've got, I can't put it up because I've lost the main part. There's yeah. three parts of the video and the camera kept stopping. I think the camera had, had a few. I can't get it right all the time. <laughs> no, so we'll have to try that again. But I'm sure that was nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm it was. I'm sure it was like Hogarth and mm. really nice. But yeah, this, yeah, this is. I'd definitely drink that again. That's, that's good, really good. Well, I've never thought. The combination of flavours work really, really well together. Well, it's got that, to me, it's got that club, mm. that Caliao type of taste, but on a mandarin side and slightly more fruity. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say it's exceedingly sour. But no, it is. It, it, there was a, a, a hint of it. But it depends how much you go. I mean, I don't mind, you know, when they're really sour and I'm like, oh. Yeah, I do enjoy that. A lot of people don't, but I do. You do, don't you? Um, <laughs> I think you shouldn't be put off by a saying sour on this tin because it isn't particularly sour. I would say more edges towards the IPA. Yeah, and a, a nice, and a real nice fruity IPA, yeah. not one of them old boring hoppy things <laughs> that you're like, yeah, yeah, right. It's the same as another one. Yeah, but it's yeah. I wouldn't if you if you didn't like sours. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be too put off by the fact that it says sour on there. It isn't it? Does have hints of sour. Don't but get it me wrong. But sour. It's not like some of the sours. Mm. Would, tried before is it and overall yeah that's good as i say it goes along the lines of club mm. for me but yeah. a bit fruitier yeah i'd go along with that as well and yeah that's again like the last one another uk brewery doing the business is definitely yes for me oh yes yeah, definitely yes for me um not my greatest one but certainly not bad i'd go on say you're looking at me what, what, what was he thinking that's an eight for me. That's a that's a good drink. I like that. Yeah, I'll go on a seven. It's a bit a solid seven mm. that is because it's definitely good. It's not. I'd rather it more sour, but this would sell more if people tried it because of the yeah IPA than the sour. Yeah. If that makes sense. I do enjoy a really nice fruity IPA, and this for me is definitely that. Yeah, definitely. So right, okay, that concludes. Mm -hmm. Like, subscribe, and. Bonjour people. Bye.